Quick little YouTube disclaimer, by the way, this will be where the video on the archive starts. This will be the last episode that I'll be posting on the main Lanny Pator channel. Uh, oh, the yeah. yeah, the following archives will be going up on my other channel, Lanny Playtor, along with all my other Twitch highlights and other gaming videos, just because I want to clear space on my main channel for the stuff that I've been focusing on in terms of... Uh, you know, the self-improvement stuff that I've been working on. Mm. So just wanted to give that drop out there. Let anybody who's watching this on YouTube know to check out that channel if you want to keep up to date on this because episode 30 will be the first one on that channel. So thank you so much. And without further ado, let's roll. Last time on The Ties That Bind, Denier, Asmo, Wolfgang, and T-Wig ventured into the mines outside of the town of Silver Rock in an attempt to get to the bottom of the mysterious happenings swirling around the town. Inside, they were ambushed by mind-washed suicidal bugbears. Dispatching these foes, they traveled deeper in to find Ramsey's Palto at the feet of a mysterious drow. The drow turned to our heroes and revealed himself to be the jester of Bordeaux in disguise. After a ferocious battle, leaving two of our heroes on the brink of death, the jester escaped with Ramsey's fragment of the chaotic gem. Denier gave chase, but had to end his pursuit when he found an unconscious giblink, allowing the jester to escape and caving in the tunnels behind him. So yeah, you're, uh still in the mines and you have uh, traveled back to the tied up bugbear that you managed to keep alive. Uh, what about the guy we also like saved back there too? Uh, he's still in uh, shock and unconscious in the mine carts that you had tipped over next to him. Uh, he's yeah, ba basically he's alive, stable, but not in a good condition. Uh, Asmo's going to stand guard over the uh, bugbear that's tied up right now, and Asmo's kind of quiet right now. Wolfgang is going to go over, get the get the guy out of the minecart. All right, uh, he's just laying inside of it, kind of <laughs> like uh, kind of like curled on his side, clutching uh, his arm. Well, the arm that's a half arm is kind of like wrapped around him, and his other arm is wrapped around the shoulder on that side. Mm. I'm going to look at the uh, tracks on the minecart. Do they look like they would still function? It looks like it might need a little bit of uh, repairing. It, ha it looks like one of the wheels is kind of warped, and it's a little chunked up due to the explosions that just went off in the area. But it's... Uh, give me an intelligence check. Okay. Seven. Oh, on the other side. Yeah, mm. you're you're not too familiar with this kind of mechanical structure, but by the looks of things, it looks sturdy if it can hold weight. Hmm. Tiwig, can you give me a hand tip on this card over? Oh, uh, okay. I will help. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to get this uh, this minecart on the tracks. All right. Um, let's see. You said you were going to attempt to get the man out of it first. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get him out of it, and then you know just so nothing bad happens to him. All right. Give me one athletics and one medical. I let me do the medicine. Okay. All right. I'll let you both split that. Twelve. Five. With, uh, he's, he's a little bit jammed in there. Like, he, he's tucked himself kind of back in there in a sense of uh, preservation, basically. Just trying to protect himself. Luckily, uh, with that 12 in medicine, he's still asleep and not hurt by your attempts to take him out. As T-Wig is basically using what residual energy they have to sort of give him a calming sort of anesthetic fieldish vibe. All right. Fi vibe. Yeah, but he's like tucked in there. You can attempt to rock the cart without with him in it, but No, I'll take him out. I don't want him being jostled around too much. Okay. Asmo just 
Nazwin just kind of says to everybody while he's standing over the bugbear, does anyone want to talk about why the hell the Jester of Bordeaux is all the way south of the Maw in a who town is... where a big peace treaty is happening? Who is that silly man? Jester. What What Jester? You didn't see him. He looked uh, different. Uh, the man. guy, the, the drow, is a master of disguise. He's a person we met a long time ago. Very dangerous. Indeed. I threw Good much thing. that uh, Ramsey speaks up as he walks forward. I threw everything that I could at him, but his prowess in combat seemed to have me outmatched. By the way, what were you doing down here alone? Going for a gem makes sense, but alone? Come on now, that's weird. It was a feeling I had. I thought that... Well, I didn't want to worry anybody, but if I came down here, I figured I might at least be able to figure out what was happening. I, I was searching for the source of my feelings, and I don't even know if he was the source. It's the problem. Uh, well, he took advantage of that in that moment. But Very the jump much on so. You, and this is the second time we've saved you in a cave. And which don't is think I don't know I owe you that much. No, I just think it's weird that this is the second time we've saved you in a cave. I do seem to have a niche, don't I? Okay, just don't go in caves! Very good advice. I'll <laughs> attempt to follow it in the future. You have a bad track record. As one just kind of like curmudgeonly, like just rubbing his bruises and cuts. <sighs> yes, too true, I suppose. We need to get this guy to, like, a doctor. Can we not go out? We can't go out that way. Can we go out the way he went, or did he blow up the whole? What was that shake? The, it was a rumble we heard, right? Yeah, you haven't checked the tunnel further down from where Denier found Giblink, but you did. You did hear a rumble. Should Should check to see if we can get out the way he went, but I doubt it. You were saying something, Denier? Uh, Denier said, uh, "Giblink came in a different way than we did." There might be a second in, a second exit. I I took turn when I came into thing. Didn't follow track. He went the other way. We went straight. He went left. Yeah, that might be a way for us to get out, but we'd have to get everything everything that we need before we start heading well, that way. Well, hold on, hold on. How about you and me go check it out? As we'll start stepping off. Giblink, come with me. You went that way, right? Uh, Giblink uh, steps up to the sleeping uh, bugbear. Him okay? Something's messed with his head. Yeah. It messed with all of their heads. I don't know if it's if he's still under the effect of it or not, but they lost themselves. Yeah, Giblink people nearly killed him on way in. Had to take one out, other not Giblink unconscious, then leave. When I woke up, Giblink come around corner, and then get burned. Hmm. Eh, what are you gonna do? Mistakes happen, right, guys? Yeah. Wolfgang is visibly clenching his teeth under his lips. T-Wig hard away. stares at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> T-Wig gym faces. <laughs> that's, that's really apt. All right. Denier. Me and Denier and Giblink are going to go check out the path that he went out, but he probably blew it up. Let's right, go. Giblink, join. Something that Jester said worries me. What's what? that? He made the comment, there's no easier way to get a, a gym user out in the open than dangling the right piece of bait. It's probably another gym. Uh, as you guys walk past where you were fighting the Jester, I want you to roll me a... Uh, Survival, or, uh, perception check. Hmm, okay, here we go. Sixteen. Nine. Asmo, you see a, uh, I mean, you're seeing it in black and white because you can't, you don't have any color in, uh, color vision in the darkness, but, uh, you see a odd rectangle on the ground next to where you're, uh, walking right there. Uh, can I bend down and look at it? Yeah, as you bend over, you realize that uh, it seems to be a leather-bound book of some sort. Hmm. Does the it have any cover, words on it? The, uh, the cover seems thin. There aren't any words on the cover. Uh, 
it does feel like very soft leather as you pick it up and feel it in your hands. As was said, hey, Denier, hold up. Oh, by the way, Bob, can you up your audio too, by the way, dude? You're a bit quiet. I, I turned him up on my end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Cool. You have to turn him up on your end. All right, cool. I'll move the microphone closer a little bit to me. Hey, Aswan just tosses the book at him. Hey, take a look. This is on the ground where we were fighting. All right. Uh, Denier gives Books it a are your look thing, over. so let's keep walking. While he's walking, he's going to take a, a quick look over it. Uh, yeah, it's a leather-bound book. Doesn't seem to be anything magical about it. Then he'll look into it uh, later on. He'll pocket it, and he'll continue following along for now. Gibbling, did you go? Which way did you go? You went this way, right? Yeah, yeah. Gibbling, come from this direction. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, yeah, as you, as you turn the corner, you see uh, a small pool of blood coming out from under a large pile of rocks that seem to be from a cave-in in the ceiling. It piles. It's it piles all the way up to the top there. Like, even you're not sure how much oxygen is even coming through that way. Yeah, this way's done. All right, let's head back and confirm what I thought. Yeah, it didn't look like that when Giblin came from there. Luckily. Uh, luckily. Right, let's move. Guess right, Giblin luck. Guess Giblin lucky in some things. Yeah. Right, Asmo comes back. All right, meanwhile, while they were up there investigating that stuff, what have you two been doing down here? Um, I'm just going to be kind of quiet, thinking a little bit. I need someone to carry him. I'm too weak. I can do it. On your own? Yeah. All right, well, I'll at least help him get on your shoulders. Okay, I right, can't... Within... Um... I can't bring myself to change form anymore. I guess I have a limited charge, and I kind of tap my chest a little bit. Right. Good to know. It seems your like you your, only seam, do it. your seams pulse slightly as you do so. Seems like I could only do it about twice then. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, give me a athletics check with advantage since Wolfgang is assisting you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that strong either. Neither, neither of you are. No, <laughs> minus one, let's go. Woo! 18, okay. Yeah, with nice. Wolfgang's assistance and your previous medical check, this guy's staying under as you lift him up onto your shoulders, kind of in a fireman's carry position. Uh, where would you like to set him? Uh, I'm just going to walk with him, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I'll be, stay I'll be staying close by in case something unexpected happens. All right, now the minecart itself is still kind of tipped over there. Uh, it's a bit heavy, so you'll have to do a good old athletics check to kind of lift it up and get it where you want it to be, I'm assuming, on the tracks. Let me add a one that oh, I can I was, move. I was just wanting to uh, see if I could get, a, get the minecart on the tracks so we could transport him more easily, but... And yeah, that's something that you would uh, need an athletics check for since it's a big fucking minecart. All right. That's a six. Yeah. Yeah, you're. Th this thing's really. Oh wait, heavy that's acrobatics. And... That's acrobatics. Oh, acrobatics. Sorry. Do a front flip. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like the fourteen. Okay. With that, you can get the cart upright, but just not enough uh, leverage to get it onto a track by yourself. The wheels are a little awkward. It's a little too bulky for that for one person. I think this is a, this is a fool's errand. You think maybe with some help you might be able to do it, but it's uh, de it's definitely kind of bulky and weird like that. Like where one man is certainly not going to be lifting that whole cart and setting it on the track by himself. T-Wig, Denier, can you help me with this? My hands are a bit full. Denier. I can give it a shot. I'll help as well. Not exactly the strongest in the world, but... All right, with that... Oh, sorry. oh yeah. Uh, Giblink will attempt to give it some... Uh, under... like ba Basically under support as well. So both of you give me an athletics with advantage. Okay. Fifteen. 
11. And by all of your powers combined, you're able to lift it up and slowly sort of jimmy it onto the track. You get the nice little clicking sound as the wheels lock onto place on there. Uh, it creaks and heaves as you do so, but you're assuming that's just the damage caused by the explosion. Mm. Pullcasters gonna... working together. I'm going to gently put our um, patient into the minecart. All right. To uh, move most... things along, I'll just say Asmo that says, you do. Uh, okay. What do you want me to do with this guy? Asmo gestures at the bugbear who's knocked out, tied up. <laughs> Well, we need to determine uh, if he's still under control of whatever it was. Uh, uh, it's like Giblink do the talking. He's like, you know, the goblin. So, yeah. Giblink walks up to him. Looks at, uh, he starts uh, checking the ropes. Yeah, these seem all right. Slaps him in the face. <laughs> That's out! Basically yells at him in Goblin. Wake up! And he does so. His eyes still kind of glowing pink. <sighs> Same as others. Tainted. Uh, by the jester or by something else? No clue. Not magic man. Mm, here, maybe I can help. Uh, I'm going to grab the bugbear's head with my hand. Yeah, he's okay. he's frantically trying to bite at you as he as you do so. Well, I hope you're deficient in iron because that's all you're gonna get. Um, I'm gonna cast to spell magic. Ooh, at third level. Uh, for the record, he misses with his bite. <laughs> all right, that goes as a third level spell for uh for each spell above. Do an ability check. DC equals ten plus. Okay, do me a spell ability check then. That would be wisdom then. Oh, come on. Oh my god. His eyes grow even glow even brighter as you get this sensation as you're trying to dispel him. Uh your mind flashes to a white tree. And you don't get that usual like, oh yeah, I'm in a forest sensation. You get a sensation of fear. Something that you're not so privy to. But you now understand what fear is. As you jostle back from him, your hand flies away. Uh, no good. No good. It is not good at all. I back away, like, hitting the wall as far as I can back up. <sighs> Ramses, I think we might need your area of expertise here. Uh, I'm limited on resources, I'm afraid, but what can I do? I think this one's somehow ha somehow has some kind of gym corruption to him. I think maybe the jester took control of his mind through the power of a gym. If the jester has this sort of power, then he has the power of... I don't even know. I'm afraid I'm out of resources that would normally be at my disposal, though. My battle with the man took quite a bit out of me. Mm. He's going to do a arcane check. And with his arcane, like, he, he looks at him, like, square in the eyes as his mouth just starts kind of thrashing about. <laughs> Very, like, vigorously trying to wriggle out of the ropes that are tied around his joints. If I were to... Wager a guess. This corruption does not merely affect the mind, but his very soul. Oh boy. I'm afraid your friend may be gone. He looks over to Giblink. <laughs> Giblink just kind of goes quiet and his eyes sort of shadow over as he looks down. I'm very sorry. 
he kind of backs up and leans against the wall that you're leaning against, kind of clutching some of his wounds. Can I roll an insight on him? Uh, on Ramses? Ramses, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, 16. This natural 20 is on the other side yeah, of killing. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's just that's a pain. He seems very genuine in his apology as he's leaning back and has kind of a sorrowful look in his eye. You feel like he's telling the truth and that he's being genuine here. Okay. Any last words you want to say to him? Giblink kneels down to him as the bugbear's mouth starts thrashing as vigorously as it can towards Giblink's throat. I pull out Requiem and I press it towards the bugbear's head. Calm down or I'll put one in your lap first. Uh, as you do so, Giblink is staring daggers at you. Giblink pulls out a dagger. These Giblink people. This Giblink job. He kind of brushes your gun away with his dagger. Yeah, I pull it away. Giblink like, kneels down and just sort of looks him in the eyes as he's thrashing viciously towards him. <laughs> Big Rund. You always good fighter. You strong. You help people. Gibling, sorry he not there for you when you need him. Gibling can't undo what happened. But Gibling, try and make better. If you hear, if you hear this, Gibling will do best for people. Not let this slide. Rest well. And he slides the dagger in to his throat with a coup de gras as it's thrust as it's thrashing around and it's slowly <laughs> Its eyes fade from that pinkish glow in glass over. Rest well. See you on other world, friend. Uh, we got to get moving. We don't know where the gesture went. We got to get out of this damn cave, though. All right, we're pushing that thing. Uh, move ahead. Giblink will catch up. Yeah, okay. Giblink just kind of sulks over to a corner and just crouches down. No, yeah, needs a moment. He near checks the bodies, see if they have any kind of like dynamite or anything that we can use to clear the rocks. Uh, go ahead and give me survival checks. Okay. For anybody who wants to check the bodies. Ten. Eighteen. Oh. Uh, Denier, you don't find any dynamite, uh, but you do find basically all the little clubs and cudgels and pickaxes that they were holding. Mm-hmm. Uh, meanwhile, Tiwig, you actually do find a stick of dynamite. I found the weird candle, guys. Oh, that's the thing that blew up and made the rocks fall. I want to be honest. Part of me thinks we should maybe use it to blow that up, but who knows if more rocks aren't going to come down around us. There are two explosions Cave. in here. Cave is already unstable. Any more explosions or loud noises will probably cause the whole thing to come crashing down on us. Yeah. Yeah, you hold on to that boomstick. Boomstick, okay. I'll hold on it's to that. It's a stick many... of boom. How Just much hold dynamite did I though. get? Uh, you have one stick. Okay, one stick of dynamite. Stick of dynamite. All right, are we gonna push? Are we pushing this thing, then? Yes. All right. Thank you for well, volunteering, Ismo. Yeah, well, I figured I owe it. I botched it back there when I lost my cool and used the damn potion. Damn right, you fucking did. I'm it's okay. Move. Thank yeah, you so much. Twig actually seems kind of happy. Soft 20. Nice. Uh, soft 20. This thing's actually very easy to push, kind of like butter. It rocks and bobs a little bit, 
as you're doing so, but you're thinking that's just because of the stability of the thing. Uh, you get over to the bugbears, and now they are blocking the track. Yeah, I'm already trying to pull buddies off of the, off of the tracks. Athletics. I'll help. They are they aren't like super heavy. It's just dragging dead weight. Eleven. Uh, Eighteen. If I have advantage due to uh, Wolfgang saying that. Yeah, I said it was. Yeah, with, with with advantage, you and Wolfgang each grab a leg and just <laughs> drag him off. And Asmo, you got a 14. That's that's enough to get this guy off there, and this guy's not even on the track enough. Moving, moving, moving. Keep this wagon moving. It kind of bobs to the side as it rocks past the last bugbear. Asmo shouts back to Giblink, don't wait too long. Who knows what else is in here? Giblink, understand. Giblink, catch up. I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'm coming back. As Denier starts to walk off, he glances over. I'm sorry, man. I tried to save as many of them as I could. Give Link no. Give Link appreciate. He nods, and Denier continues with the rest of the group. All right, let's keep pushing on down. Pushing right. the cart down the line. As you push it down, you start pushing it into a another hallway, basically a long corridor that's just track and eventually one sec gotta bring myself over there as well no worries Ooh, so what are we seeing uh you walk into a more open area as you uh step out into this spot basically there's two corridors to your to your left and right or north and south on the map uh, one seems to just lead to sort of a dead end uh, down to the south. It looks like there's a bunch of leftover mining gear and a few places where it looks like some miners would take breaks. Up to the north, it uh, just looks like a rocky passage. And straight ahead of you is another mine cart. And as you step further into the area... You notice that it's at kind of a cross section here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. In fact, here, I'll just uncover this entire room for you. Thanks, Nick. No problem, because you guys are going to be traveling around it anyway. Do, 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 do. Oh, boy. Yeah, this looks to be like a, the hub of what would be a mining operation. Uh, this is where they... Uh, As one kind of scratches his chin. Uh, can I do an investigation on that, on the, the swivel thing? Like, pretty much the, the lazy Susan of tracks. Absolutely. Go ahead and investigate that. All right, I'm going to investigate that. And that's an 11. Uh, as you're looking at it, it doesn't seem that difficult to comprehend. It looks like that middle part there has some tracks that run across it, but they only go in one direction. Now, there must, there's almost certainly a way for that thing to shift. You're not sure if you have to turn it or twist it or what, but uh, in short. order to get carts across, normally there would probably be a way to shift that. Asmo uh, sees the lever. Could Asmo try and pull the lever? Just make two, put two and two together? Absolutely. Uh, you pull the lever... And when you do so, the thing swivels, and the tracks are now facing the other direction. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, do you want to switch him to this cart instead? That one seems more stable than yes. Yeah, let's switch him to this cart. Uh, All right. Question for you, Lanny. Two questions. Yes? One, is there moisture in this cave, like any pools of water, dripping stalactites or anything uh, like that? Yes, in fact, there is. You do know, you do hear the sound of dripping. The, some of the walls seem to be moist with uh, air. There are no stalactites here, as this is a man-made cave. Okay. Uh, second but you question. do seem to, but you do appear to be in more of a natural cavern with a higher ceiling, as opposed to the corridors that you've been walking through. Any bats on the ceiling? That 
Um, with your natural perception, I would say uh, no, there are not at present. Good to know. Despite the fact that the sound pack I am using does have bat sounds. <laughs> it is just the best cave audio I've found. It's just me making noises. No worries. <laughs> uh, but you want to transfer him over to the other cart? Yeah. All right, that'll yep. be an athletics check to get him out. Osmo, right. help me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even have to ask me. 17. All right, Asmo, you're able to kind of like hoist yeah. this guy out and lift him over. And poom. You guys want to scout ahead while I push this thing? Because it looks like I got to, like, uh, can I put him in the middle and it turns? Or I don't even know which way is out, actually. Yep, that's a good point. You haven't really investigated the area. Should we investigate while we, uh... Mm. I'm still beaten up, so I probably should stay with him right now. I'm going to cast light on my blink rock. All right, I have... I'm going to. Up still, so. Yeah, I'm going to huck it off in that direction. Hucking it off in that direction. All right, you throw the blink rock off in that direction, and it clatters against what looks to be a desk of sorts. Huh. Pink, and then it flashes back into your palm. All right, I, I just keep it palmed for now. It kind of, like, the light begins to mute as you cra grasp your hand around it. It's a useful little trinket. Ramsey's Palto says, standing a little behind you. Got it from a little boy I saved. <laughs> What's on right. this desk? All right, you wander up to the desk. Go ahead and... Uh, on, on the desk, you see that there's some clutter there. It looks to be a, a book, a quill, a couple of papers that seem to be like uh, ledgers of sorts. And there's a lantern that seems to have gone out on the upper shelf of the desk. Hmm. I'm going to see if there's any like drawers or hidden compartments in it. Do me an investigation. 19. Nice. There are definitely drawers. Uh, they seem to be filled with various pens and uh, ink wells, bits of tinder, some lantern oils. That's about it, though. Doesn't seem to be any hidden compartments. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, you do find a small bottle of half-drank whiskey. All right, nice. I put that in my pocket. Yeah, it's like it's like flask size. You could probably fit it in like your breast pocket. Flask of whiskey. And Denier, as you wander further over into that area, there are two chests against the southern, uh, southwestern wall there. Okay, I will. Denier will make a perception check just to. You know, eye the entire situation if possible. Go for it. 18. You're not sure if it's just the uh, fact that the Blink Rock's light is messing with the shadows, but you think one of the boxes just moved a little. Also, uh, Wolfgang, while you are looking through that desk uh, with your investigation check, you did happen to... Open up the journal as you're looking through here, and you find this. Ooh. Hopefully that popped out. No, it did not pop out for chat, though, so I'll just bring it over this way. Whoop. Yeah, you don't see it. Oh. Uh, I think you have to make it a bit available for us to yeah. see. Ah, that would do it then. Hold on. In all players. There we go. Made available to all players. Foreman's Ledger? The Foreman's Ledger. I got something here. Weekly report log 225, Foreman Jedrick Minor. The tremors the other day have the boys scared, especially little Willie. Few new corridors have busted open, and some of the men think they hear noises from them. I tells them it's just the wind and to keep them going, but 
I'll admit some weird shites about happening lately. Some shites been happening lately. That abandoned corridor that always gives me chills when I walk by. I saw some bloke walking down that way with some big sack. I hid till he came out and left. And when I checked the bag, it was full of fucking bones, all human-like. I don't think I've ever left this, this place faster that night. But here's the kicker. I went back and checked the next day, and the bag was fucking gone. I would like to make another formal request to just cave in that forsaken cavern. Weekly report log 226, Foreman Jedrick Minor. Tragedy struck today. The boys were right about them holes. There was something in them. Killed old Zig and Big Jack and the other boys telling me Darby was the only one to, to see it before he took Strange and just pulled out a stick of powder and blew himself up, caving in the area and injuring Mr. Smithson and Mr. Fudge. After a report reached me, I deemed it necessary to take some powder in the cave and the other openings that had popped up with a tremor. I take full responsibility for this action and understand that this comes at a time when the town can't spare anyone else to deal with this, but with the summit and all. But I humbly and profoundly request that we shut this site down until we can be sure that it's safe here. I've sealed the gates that lead to the northeast exit to the ensure nothing gets out that way. If anything still exists here. Not like anyone here uses it themselves. It's only good for the mine carts and we still lose half those anyway since no one can get the repair tracks it can get into repair the tracks easily since the sinkhole opened, but that's another issue entirely. And that was the last entry. Yeah, Wolfgang, I think one of these boxes just moved. This was written slightly before the uh, the summit was supposed to take place. Boxes move? Yeah. Maybe it's just my eyes messing with me, but I think one of these boxes just moved. I was all, or maybe I, I don't, but Wolfgang does. Uh, Osmo, T Wig, get up here. Oh, okay. Uh, what about the guy? Me. I can mage hand it if we need to, but. What about the guy in the card? Asmo says. He's not going anywhere. I can look after him. All Ramses right. comes down. All right, thank you. Asmo comes up, still limping a bit from the fight. Do you need, like, a band-aid or something? Yeah, maybe. Can you right. do any magic? I will cast Cure Wounds at level one. Thank you. Ugh. Denier will pass over one of his healing potions four. to Asmo. Oh, I got heal for four? Yay. <laughs> that was the shitty, I keep getting ones. I don't, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> uh, what's a healing potion? It's 2d4 plus four? 2d4 plus two. Plus two. Uh, thanks, Denier. Uh, seven. These might be Five. mimics. Be ready. No. Uh, levels Requiem on uh, whichever box Denier mentioned moved. Uh, he I... points to the one that would be on your left. Okay. So he'll level, this he'll level right Requiem here. on that box and why then he'll... If they're mimics, then why don't we just leave them alone? Oh, wait, no. That would be this one. My bad. The mimics, why are we even messing with them? They might have healing potions in them to help you and the guy who got his arm blown off. I forget his name. Ugh, damn it. Asmo takes his last healing potion and downs it. He had right. one healing potion left. Uh, Asmo uh, will do his last regular healing potion. And seven again. All right. That's Just a don't total go of 18 wild. health back. Just don't go hog wild with the wild magic potions again. Yeah, I'm not going to be touching that one for a while. <laughs> Let me do this first, though. I've got uh, I've got my mage hand I can use to trigger it, just in case it's just a trap and I didn't catch it ahead of time. You three ready? Ready? Wait. Uh, I am going to cast uh, True Strike first. All right. Casting true, true strike on the one that you were leveling your gun on. 
Yes. All right. Go for it. I will mage hand, and using a mage hand, I will attempt to open the chest that we suspected moved. As the invisible but tangible hand moves out there, it grabs the latch on the chest and begins to pry it open. It begins to violently rock back and forth as a pair of, uh, as a set of teeth gnashes on the mage hand. Oh, damn it. Here we go. Go ahead and, uh, as you have a, su- you have a surprise round on it, and then we'll roll initiative. Okay. All right. For anybody that has ranged attacks. Yep. I do. <laughs> I have a very stupid ranged attack. I can't wait to see it. I will... I'm running out of I'm running out of lead here. I'll go ahead and Eldritch Blast it. Firebolt, and then move. All right, let's... Uh, you know what? Let's roll initiative just so we have an order here. Okay. okay. Nine. Five. Uh, Sixteen. And Shadow? Fifteen. All right. Uh, so with that, we'll have... Wolfgang going first here. Yep, just going to fire Eldritch Blast at it. Kapow! Go ahead and fire away. 22. 22 will definitely hit a Mimic. That is four force damage. And since I am past level five, I can fire it again. All right, go ahead and fire your second Eldritch Blast. 17. 17 will still hit. 10. Oh. All right. Nice. As you That's fire, damn. your gun lets out these massive white bolts of energy that fly forth and smack it right in what would be the creature's cheek. It jostles to the side as, a tongue, as its tongue flings out as another bolt fires into the roof of its mouth, m- making the creature howl in pain. <laughs> that was a mimic howl. Uh, Lanny, there yes. seems to be some music kind of overlapping on top of the battle music. Sorry. I don't hear it. I don't either. That's weird. It's saying there's three songs playing for me. I'm a real. No, I can hear it actually. Dean's right. <laughs> well, either way. Uh, do, 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 do Shadow. I mean, Denier. Right. Denier will fire his firebolt and then he will move. All right, fire your firebolt. That is an 18 to hit. That will hit. And that is. How did I do that? It oh, be no, you... uh, it's it's going it's for it's going for the crit as well. So that's yeah, twelve. So ah, it's it's just okay. twelve. Yeah, just twelve. All right. As it's trying to close its mouth from the pain, uh, you burn it right on the tongue as it's bringing it back into its mouth, singeing a huge chunk of it as it turns from that disgusting mucusy purple to a burnt ashy white. Oof. All right, and Denier moves back, and that will end Denier's surprise round. Asmo. Asmo says, go banana, and throws a knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Throw your kniff. I'm gonna throw my dagger. <laughs> eh. Hey. 19. Oh, you th- uh, 19 to hit, that'll hit. Six. All right, as you throw this dagger, as it's reeling its tongue back into its mouth, you manage to uh, give it a serpentine tongue of its own as you slice open the end of it, and it gets kind of jarred in its tongue as it's whipping it back into its mouth. The two white, ashy chunks of its at the end of its tongue start writhing on two sides. If this thing had eyes, you think it would be crying. <laughs> oh. Too bad it was born a mimic. Indeed. And uh you let's see. Alright. Do, do, do and T-Wig. Uh seeing the situation and wanting to make it even worse, uh I lift my hatch, my face plate up, and I'm gonna cast bees. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a question mark! Yes! Bees? Be 
Bees? It's infestation, just for clarification's yeah. sake, but I had to call it bees. Bees? <laughs> Constitution saving throw for this box. Let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> Will a 15 mitigate that? It will, unfortunately. Ah! Okay. Oh, uh, as, the be as the bees begin to fly into the mouth, uh, the tongue that's writhing around manages, uh, and the stench coming from this thing managed to disperse the bees. I close up my hatch. The bees fly back into your head. <sighs> what the what? fuck? <laughs> it's cool, they pay rent. Huh. All right. This now we're going on initiative order. Of more bees. <laughs> on initiative order, now we have Wolfgang again. All right. Eldritch Blast again. Actually, no. I'm going to... I'm going to hit it with Sacred Flame. Okay. It needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Or take six radiant damage. Right. Needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Let's see what yep. this box can do. If it can see if it can dance. Uh, this box is frantically rocking around as it gets an eighteen. Oh. Yeah, it, it it passes passes the save. All right, is uh, yeah, no damage on anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, no damage on it. Uh. I am going to move slightly up here, and uh, that'll end my turn. Okay. Next up, we got Denier. All right. Denier is going to do the same thing he did last round, and he's going to throw a fiery bolt at the Mimic. All right. Fire bolt. Cast 13. away. 13 will hit. 12 damage. All right, you you score this thing directly in its uh, basically its little lock piece, so you're kind of burning what would essentially be a mimic's balls here, <laughs> as it glows white hot, as it's still bouncing around from the pain that it's still currently in. Nice, and he's gonna just he's not gonna move. He's gonna stay there for now. All right, as it's jostling around. It wakes up its buddy. Ah. The other mimic gets knocked on the side. Notices you guys. And begins to attempt to hop on over. <laughs> eh. Eh. <laughs> and gets in front of you, Asmo. Do, 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 do. As it attempts to lash at you with its teeth. Does a 17 hit you? Oh, thank goodness, no. All right. As it, as this box bounces out, bounding toward you, it almost takes you by surprise as it lashes out at you and grazes onto your leather armor and bites down, but it doesn't sink its teeth all the way in. Eee! All right. Do, 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 do. Next up, we have Asmo. It is your turn now. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Asmo uh, is going to activate his second wind. Which I did not do. I did not use that last battle, correct? I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm pretty sure you did. I I'm pretty sure you did. used all of your abilities. Yeah, you used it. Oh, I burst it. Oh, I did all the. Oh, my God. I totally did. I hit action surge. and Yeah. I, it's almost right, like yeah. I set up a encounter for you guys to burn all your shit before you had to do a dungeon crawl. You oh, did boy. well. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Asmo, Asmo uh, is going to pull out Fire Ant, and Asmo's going to go. 10. Ah, oh, he misses. That'll miss. The box jumped out and startled you, and as you're trying to dig down into it, you manage to scrape past some of its wood, but the wood is just too thick, and it's not... It doesn't seem to do anything to it. Asmo, uh... Oh, okay. Asmo, uh, says... Yuko knock. And then Asmo, uh, activates Frostbite again. And Asmo goes for a punch with that bad boy, and that's a 23 to hit. That will hit as you bring the icy dagger into its side. Nine damage, eight piercing, one cold. All right. All 
All right, you sink it into its side, and it looks like it shivers a little bit as its mouth lets go of your leather armor. That's good. And I have one more attack, right? A three? Yes, you have another fire ant. Now I'm able to use my frostbite a second time, correct? Uh, your fire ant was your first attack, so that is your main hand weapon. Okay, that's my main hand right now. All right. Fire ant, ten. Ah, damn. And like last time, you try to sink it in, but it just barely sort of grazes past it as you're hitting one of the metal hinges. You get a couple of scrapes in the air. Doesn't seem like it did any damage to the creature. Dang, okay. All right, T-Wig. I think this situation calls for more bees. <laughs> bees? Uh, bees? I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim for the, the same one we targeted with the, uh, with the surprise round. <laughs> as the bees fly forth from your helmet again, seeping out of your eyes and faceplate. <laughs> God. They descend on the mimic, which is still trying to tend to its little injured face. Uh, it's a constitution save. Will an 11 get there? No, no it, it will fails. not. As the bees swarm its mouth, <laughs> starts to infest the whole face. Takes nine poison damage. Yes, go, my children. I, I gotta imagine every time you do that, Flight of the Valkyries plays <laughs> like out of your helmet. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, also, it's, the inside I, of its mouth begins to well over with welts and bee stings as bees begin to fall into its mouth. Uh, also, it randomly moves, so. All right. Uh, if it if it moves up. Yeah. <laughs> That's about as far as it can go up <laughs> before, it, before it bonks into a wall. Uh, I'm going to just like quickly swing behind Esmo and be like, you're doing good, champ. And that will end my turn. <laughs> Thank you. I'm having an awful day. Yeah, this box that's full of bees is just hopping around madly. A box of bees. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, no. And begins to lash out towards Asmo as he, it's the only thing in rage that it can actively take out its aggression on. Luckily, I've studied the art of CQC. Uh, a 19 will hit. Damn it! Sorry. Uh, as you take... Nine damage as it bites oh. down on your leg. You can see tears welling from the top of the box where its eyes are as it's looking up at you. It seems to be biting down to try to take its mind off of all the bee stings in its mouth. <laughs> it's eating me! <laughs> and then they're gonna eat them! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> they both chime out. <laughs> Alright, uh, back up the list. We got Wolfgang. All right, seeing as these might call for something a little bit more substantial than than Eldritch Blast, Wolfgang is the 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 engraving is going to fade back to its usual gunmetal color, and he's going to just fire Requiem at uh, this one. At the injured one. Yeah. Uh, the more injured one, I should say. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Twenty. That'll fucking hit. Six oh. piercing. Uh, you take out, as you fire, splatter comes out from the top of it as three of its eyes just descend into mush as the bullet impacts with the top. The final eye is glassing over, but it bites down a little bit harder on Asmo. You don't take any more damage from it. That's flavor. Uh, My life! As it seems to be holding on to, it's as it seems to just be holding on to life. Thirsting blade, I fire again. 19. And as you fire, don't bother rolling damage. Okay. As you fire your second shot, it goes through the remaining eyes and the box crumples. The lid closes. It lets go of your leg. As it's dead, it, it dies. Thank you. All right, and this is going to be really stupid, but I'm going to use my movement to run behind the second mimic and sandwich it between me and the Asmo. Okay, you and the Asmo now have it sandwiched. Denier. What are you on a mix sandwich? Seeing my party, my friends in melee with this thing, 
Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to err on the side of caution, and I'm going to use one of my very few precious spell slots left to cast Magic Missile at first level. All right, cast away. Go ahead and hit it with your bolts of energy. Four, three, and two, so nine damage to it. All right, the balls of energy go hurling forth as they swerve past Asmo on his left, right, and above his head and come crashing down on the box as its mouth juts down and takes a bite out of its own tongue. Ooh, Ooh I hate that. Yeah, that's always not that good. That ends my turn. All right. It opens its mouth in pain as it attempts to make another bite down onto you, Asmo. Nat 20, fuck. No! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I use my reaction to cast projecting projected ward to try to defend Asmo. Oh, wow. All right, to absorb some of the damage? Yes. All right, because incoming, you have 17 damage. How much does the ward absorb? I can absorb six. All right, you take 11 damage, Asmo, as a blue crackling field shatters around you, and this thing's teeth, like, this thing leaps up and basically just grabs you by the torso with its teeth and clamps down. Ah! You're still up? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Is it metagaming to say how much HP I have? Uh, maybe? Yeah, I want to say, but you, oh. Oh, Asmo's in move. a bad way. Great, great move, though, Denier. Great, great move. Asmo's in a bad way. You can see, like, blood trickle out of his mouth as he coughs out and yelps out in pain. I'm assuming <laughs> he's in the single digits in that case. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, with that, Asmo, it is now your turn. You have this thing that just let go and sat back down. It's, no, it's thrashing its teeth at, or glaring Asmo's teeth eyes at, just yeah. go ye pure yellow, and Asmo just punches with frostbite right yes. into him. 17. That'll hit. Six plus one, uh, six plus one, seven. All right, seven damage. And then Asmo slashes with fire ant. Natural 20. Nat nice. 20. Yeah. Reply in six. kind. Six plus four, fire damage, please. All right, 10 damage as you're like, two can play at this game, motherfucker. As this thing is glaring at you, you take that and you stab it directly into the center eye on its head. Is it down or as still it lets, up? It's still up, but it's letting Asma. out a massive roar of... And as with Rister Tech takes Frostbite and does an uppercut. 16. All right, as it's screaming, you thrust frostbite into the, uh, you attempt to thrust frostbite into the top of its mouth. Go ahead and roll damage. Seven piercing plus six cold. And you shove it straight in there, but as its mouth, or as its teeth are coming back down, you realize you can't finish the job without losing your hand, so you pull it out before you can really get it all the way through the top of its skull. This thing's still alive. Okay, that's it for me. All right, and T-Wig. History seems to be repeating itself. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at level 2 on Esmo. Yay! You get healed for uh, 11. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I'm a very supportive person. Thank you. It glows brightly as you're surrounded by a soothing energy. Your wounds begin to knit over themselves. Filled with determination. Do Wolfgang. Has it really been everyone's? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> yep. The other uh, mimic is dead. I would be firing at a disadvantage if I fired Requiem this close, right? If you fire into melee, yes. All right. In that case, I'm going to uh, flip Requiem onto its side and grab it by the barrel, and I'm going to try to pistol whip this thing. Pistol whip that some pistol whip that little bitch in the face. Go for it. And uh, if this thing has any resistances or immunities, this is a silvered weapon, technically. Yep. All right, pistol whip. Here we go. Natural one. Oh. As you start to bring it down on the creature, you hit it against the top of it, Boom. and the gun slides out of your hand, and like basically just goes flipping into the air and clink, clink, clinks off over to the side. Uh, how far? I'm going to say it landed probably about uh, right over here. 
All right. Well, if it leaves right next it, to the other mimic's corpse, if if it exits, wait. If it's if it's out of my reach within wait, five feet advantage? of me, huh? You have advantage. No, it's plus well, two. I, I have I have plus two, but but it's still a natural one. That one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because oh, well, it, I meant because you're playing. But because Requiem yeah, yeah. is my packed weapon, if it leaves uh, five feet of me, okay. it disappears. Okay, so it clinks, clank, clanks onto the ground, and then in a sizzling flash of light, it evaporates on the ground. Okay. Let me see if it's a bonus action to resummon it. <laughs> uh, I will say, due to the nat one, however, you would not get your thirsting blade attack. Shit. Shit. I didn't uh, pistol whip my knee. Ah, my knee! <laughs> um, uh, I could have sworn I had this written on my character sheet. What the fuck? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, under improved pack weapon. On to any... Uh, it's an action to summon it. Okay, so you can't even summon it then, really. Fuck. Yeah. Punch, uh, it. Punch it in the face. Uh, no, I was—it was—it was, it was my action to try and hit it, and oh. I can't use thirsting blades since it's not on your. Summoned. You can't use thirsting blades on your fist. Uh, I can't even. I—I I have nothing for a bonus action. I can—I can do nothing. All right, that's, yes, that's uh, my damn. Turn. All right, Denier, your turn. Denier takes a moment. He narrows his eyes as he calculates. A whole bunch of math symbols fly by his head, and he casts uh, Firebolt. All right. 14 to hit. 14 will hit the Mimic as a bolt of fire flame, like, just shoots past oh. Asmo's ear. 12 damage. And as you hit this Mimic, it engulfs entirely in flames. It screeches and yelps in pain as it's tongue thrashes about the air and turns to ash. And then it stops moving. And the Asmo just flashes. falls onto the ground. Come <laughs> back to me, my darlings. And I hold open the face hatch. Uh, what bees that did not sting fly back into your mouth? The ones that did sting are dead. Cool. <laughs> they serve their purpose. All right. <sighs> Knowing what I know about mimics, I'm going to search better them. Be better be worth it, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Either way, we needed to get them out of here. If somebody else came down here, it would have hurt them better we off. can because the, the cave's off. What is all? They'll get it cleared eventually. Uh, that's what just grinds the sides of his head. All right. You want to check the mimics? Give me some yeah, going, checks. I'm going to search them. Oh, Can yeah. I also assist with this? Yes. Ten. Natural twenty. Eleven. Ah! Twenty-four. All right, Wolfgang. As you're digging around, you know these things are pretty quick to decompose. So you check the one that died early, and uh, as you're digging around through there, uh, first of all, you retrieve Asmo's dagger. I just toss it back to him. Thank you. It's covered in gross monster slime, but you got it. And that be. And bee murder. <laughs> <laughs> lots, of, lots of dead bees. Yeah, you're digging through a bunch of dead bees. It's coming in bees! <laughs> and nice. on the inside... Actually, hold on. With a nat 20, I actually have to roll for something. Ooh! Can I bring out the book? The book. The, the book. book! The book! Ooh, sure. Right, just... He's bringing out the book! All right, tell you what, I'll let you do this. Go ahead and roll a D100. Ooh. Oh, boy. Okay, sorry, this is fun. Roll 1D100. 55. 55. Find a deck of many see. things. Shit, no. <laughs> Don't get it anywhere near Osmo. More bees. He's a fighter, but we all know he's got the mindset of a barbarian. <laughs> Hey, I'm dexterous. Old habits die hard. I dodge. I dodge. I have to find this thing now. Uh-oh. Dex, we fun down. Luckily, this is in alphabetical order. A is for apple. B is for bees! Bees! <laughs> I'm so 
glad I got to finally use that fucking spell. A def <laughs> I find a defective sword of warning. It, it, it warns me at the beginning of the day that danger might happen. You do find a sword. Oh. oh. Yeah, you pull out a blade that uh, looks kind of... It looks really, really old. And it appears to... It appears to have a rusty color around the blade's edge, uh, but it's not flaky. Like, it's not rusting. It just seems to be, like, the steel on the edge of the blade just seems to be the color of rust. Uh, the rest of the ba blade appears to be a darkened steel, and the <coughs> handle appears to be made of uh, old oak. What is it? Is there a scabbard that comes with it? No. Ah, okay. All right. You only found the sword. I'm just going to brush it off with my glove. Yeah, you brush the monster slime and dead bees off it. And I'm going to use uh, my angelic sight to cast detect magic. It is, in fact, magical. Ooh, Ooh what's cool? It's magical. <laughs> it doesn't seem to uh, state any form of actual school on the item itself, so. Mm. I'm guessing purely enchantment. And this is like a long sword or a short sword or? Uh, it is a... Great. I have to choose. Fun. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a rapier. Oh. Okay. Excellent. That's a finesse weapon. That's a finesse weapon. Hmm. I'm calling it now. It's a thunder rapier to be added to Asmo's elemental armory. Oh fuck Dude, that! I, I rolled for this. <laughs> well, I have dual wielder, so I can use two ha two weapon fighting. Even oh, when one handed melee weapons, your wielding aren't light, so I kind of can yeah. wield anything in one hand. Uh, well, that's fuck it. it. This shit's mine. So. Oh yeah, 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 no, no, that's just yours. That was just. Whatever it, is, whatever it is, we'll find out what it is. Do we find anything else in the other minute? Uh, yeah, sorry, I was... No, no, no worries. Busy trying to find out what that was. Uh, first. Yeah. Monty, yeah, on, the inside of, on the inside of your mimic, you happen to find uh, one orange-looking potion. Ooh. And everybody else, as you're trying to dig around, all your, like, you're too... Nervous to dig in because as you try to touch like some of the inner bits, you realize it's bubbling acid and your hands kind of like jut out. It seems everything else is kind of being consumed. Okay. Look, now I can pull an Asmo. And I hold up the potion. Yeah, I need to be careful with that. Orange. What the heck does that mean? I still have Detect Magic up, so. Uh, it's a school of illusion. That's illusion. No, it's, it's a potion. So, what is it? At least it won't go killing everybody with it, I don't think. Give the like a chance. I will pocket this orange potion. We can find you put, out you put it in your little bender chest compartment. Kadunk. Asmo, can I get those uh, those empty potion bottles back? What? Oh, what? What have you put? Oh, like the, the, the bottles I that you drank. Potion bottle. Oh yeah, I think I have like four then. The near there cast mage hand. He grabs one of the empty potion bottles with his hand, with his mage hand, and he tries to scoop up the acid. To see All if right. He can get vials uh, of acid with them. Give me a sleight of hand check as you are digging into this uh, acidic creature with glass. Okay. Uh, this is with mage hand, by the way. Yep, I know. 18. All right, you managed to collect a... Uh, uh, you managed to collect a, uh, how many, how many times are you trying with this? I'd say twice. You get, Don't you get it. two vials, you get two vials of acid then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes magical creatures like this can, their parts can be useful spell components or you can just find just straight up useful items in them. Uh, <sighs> true enough, but... I, I think we're starts, as I starts limping back. Yeah, it was worth it though. God. <laughs> Let's find the way out of here. 
Asmog actually goes north because he sees there's another alcove and just kind of peeks his head around the corner. I'm going right. to go east. As you peek your way around the corner, uh, it looks like it just sort of loops back around the way you came. Uh, uh, can Asmog just do an investigation to see if he sees anything? Sure, go for it. Six, not a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, nothing seems out of place in this weird mine. I'm going right. to peek uh, uh, south near the eastern side here. I'm going to go I'm going to go down south the just straight south. As was just going to rest cuz he's tired. <laughs> I'll go with Wolfgang just so there's pairs because you never go uh, anywhere by as, by yourself. As with Al feels guilty because Denier said that and as what goes <laughs> over to uh, goes over to starts limping off to follow Twig. I'm going to I'm going to cast light on the blink rock again and I'm going to toss it at the end of this place. All right. You cast light on the blink rock and you throw it down to the end of the tunnel. Uh, it looks like it just kind of curves off into another path there. All right. Well, that was mainly to spook anything that might be hiding behind one of those corners, so and as Asmo and Twig examine this little outcrop over here, it looks like it was a mining area that they just sort of gave up on when they realized it wasn't following any of the veins. It's just a incomplete mining expedition. Ah, so right. me when I play Door Fortress. Can mm. I uh, roll an investigation just to see if there might be something potentially yeah, around? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Watch this. will be the one I get a natural 20. Oh, never mind. I got an 11. Yay. Yeah. Lots of rocks. There are so many rocks here. I have to take Horatio at one point and impress him with my rock knowledge. He won't care, Asmo says as he's walking out of the room. Right. As you're returning back to the area, uh, you see Giblin kind of sullenly walking out of the corridor. I'm going to look at this thing, too. Is that like uh, a device? Uh, uh, okay, go ahead and give me an investigation on that. On the uh, little switcher over there. Seven. God damn it! Why am I rolling so badly? <laughs> Asma will, uh, Asma will investigate it too. I see he's walking past. Three. That's wood. Right. It is like totally like just yeah. a thing. Dumb. It's just. It, look, it looks. It looks familiar, and it's sitting next to a gate. It uh, seems to be sealed up. Must have been mm. the one mentioned in that uh, journal or the uh, ledger that you found. Yeah, the must be magic. <laughs> it has to be. Mm. Yep. Me and Denier are uh, going around this corner. Oh, sorry. Are you going to peek around that corner? Yep. Uh, down that corner, you see uh, what looks to be a branching path that leads uh, southward and another path that continues forward. Give me a perception check as you turn the corner. Oh, bloody hell, this place goes on for fucking ever. All right, hold on, hold on. We can't... Okay, uh, Asmo shouts for them to come back real quick. Soft 20. Uh, soft 20, you hear trickling water coming from down uh, this corridor. You're not sure which way it's coming from exactly, just because the sound kind of bounces off every corner. Hmm. Sounds like a small stream going this way. Asmo uh, goes over to the car and asks... Hey, sees Giblink's back. Hey, Giblink, help me push this thing. Then you as well. Let's push this thing onto this and get it to turn and have it go down the only way anything goes. Is that south. way a good place to go? It's the only place you can go. Unless anyone else has another bright idea. There's more railways down that way. We think uh, there's water down there, too. Branches off twice and sounds like maybe a small stream. Oh. By the way, Denier, there's like uh, some gate and... Uh, uh, some weird scientific contraption or whatever down there. Go take a look at it before we go. All right. I can make heads or tails of it, and T-Wig is, you know. What do you mean, the one that looks exactly like this one? Oh, shit. Oh, it does. <laughs> that's... <laughs> well, if that's I connected, had to... I rolled a three. <laughs> if I had to hazard a guess. When, when he when he mentions it, it does look oddly similar, but it doesn't. it didn't seem to have a handle, which is why it didn't look familiar to you. Can you remove the handle from the one we uh, already used? You're unsure. Would you like me to I... roll investigation, Lanny? Sure. 17. This contraption definitely seems like it's linked to the gate and is probably the contraption that seals it shut. On the other side of the gate, uh, you see what appears to be like a dark corridor 
that slants downward pretty quickly as uh, the track rolls in. Probably not the best place to roll an injured individual. How far can I see? Uh, uh, as as you look or... in, it you basically it's kind of like a roller coaster. You see the top of the hill, and then you see wall. In the journal, it mentioned that they sent carts down that way, probably as a quick way to get shit out of there. But as the tremors came and shit opened up in there, they haven't been able to go in and repair the tracks. So now they lose about half of the carts that go in that way. Let's test it and throw a guy down there. No. <laughs> he's gone. Well, he's dead. Yeah, that thing uh, links Just... up to the gate. Oh, and God. that goes down very, very fast. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to go down. We want to go out. Uh, out, out of, out of character. Ah, oh, like the first time doing a Donkey Kong, um, <laughs> Donkey Kong <laughs> level, with a cart. He's gonna fuck up. You just gotta accept it. All right, Asmo pushes him on. Asmo does a uh, athletics. Okay. And yeah, it's this cart's a lot easier to push than that other one. A ten will get you there just fine. Uh, Asmo puts him kind of on the center thing, and Asmo uses his snake brain and pulls the crank. <laughs> All right, uh, you hear a little clink from the inside as the uh, dais begins to turn again. So here's the question I have for everybody. What's Do that? we want to take the time and take a short rest to so that we can try to get better prepared, heal a little bit, or do we want to keep on pushing forward? How, how long until the ceremony? Tomorrow. Yes, if I'm correct, you still have about 30 hours until it begins. Uh, we do have we do have this guy to uh, be worried about. He's stable, but he's... Who knows for how long... But we need a... God, I need a rest, dude. Like, we're... we're like, the, our mage... Like, Veneer, can you even cast anymore? Can any of you cast anymore? I, I have can't. a couple of things I can use, but not a whole lot because I saved your butt. I Thank can't. You. I'm My magic bit. comes in short bursts, but I've learned what I've learned from having, you know, someone of the lifeguard in my demon hunting school is that uh, my powers they they come back faster than most other people who can cast spells. I Let think taking it... taking a short break here would be wise. Let me put it to you like this: if we take a short break. I can probably recover enough of my magic to get a message out to uh, Vile Blood. Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, do short rests give you spell slots back? Yep, I am a warlock. I have I'm arcane fine. recovery. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Arcane recovery for wizards as well. I uh, like. Uh, who wants to let's do a rotating shift on this, by the way? I'll take first watch. All right. How many hours would you like to rest? Oh, what, what constitutes a half rest? Uh, like... Short rest is less than, I, I think it's like three or less. Yeah, it's like two hours. Four yeah, hours. around two hours. Two Let's hours seems like a good amount. Let's do two hours. If memory serves right, then uh, we get to roll, I believe. <gasps> One hit die. One oh, hit yes! Die. Oh, what? thank what? God. Sorry. <laughs> I get something back, and I'm very happy about that. Bees? Well, the bees are always there. Yeah, bees are a cantrip. Bees are forever, man. <laughs> forever bees. There will always be bees. Can we call it Plan B? I, just... I mean, you can. We need. To, we need to. Plan B? Question mark. T wake. Plan B. Bees. Hold the space. Like bees <laughs> around everything. <laughs> ah. It's like it's like literally like uh, Bioshock. Yeah, the guys yeah. just run around in chaos. <laughs> <sighs> I had to take it. I'm sorry. Why even apologize? All right. <sighs> All right. So you guys are gonna take a two-hour rest. Yeah. Yep. All right. You get one hit die back. Uh, one of your hit dies. So roll whatever your hit die is. How do we justify a hit die? Bam. Yeah. Yours, uh, you're a fighter, so whatever you use when you level up. Yeah. So yours is a I think, 10, I believe, as a yeah, fighter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yours is a yeah, D10. Oh, yeah, I roll I, a D8. 
I just roll just a d10. Yeah. Yep. Straight d10. A straight d10. Okay. Cool. I don't need to roll. Or actually, no. You yeah. You roll. Just click your hit dice thing, and it should be fine. Oh, just I. Well, I rolled an eight, an eight. So which one? Where's the hit? Sorry. Hit di yeah, hit yeah. dice says ten. Eight plus your Constitution modifier. Oh, it's plus con. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, plus so oh, add your eight. con to it. Oh, that's eleven. Cool. So that's I get good. a whole two. All right, Wolfgang gets two back. Ramses gets that back. Denier does not roll any uh, hit dice because Wolfgang healed all the damage that he took, but he does recover uh, four levels worth of spells. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I recover all my spell slots as well. Oh, that's, that's good. Oh, real quest. Uh, Asmo. Oh, sorry. Real quest. Can I go to the bathroom real quick? Can we take a quick break? Yeah, you know what? This while you're, while you're taking a short rest, this is a good place to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. I gotta have to go pee pee. All right. So, uh, was there anything that any of you wanted to do during your short rest here? As uh, Denier, you apparently didn't really need to heal much since Wolfgang already healed you back to full previously. Did Wolfgang make a notice out loud that the sword was magical? Uh, he probably would have said that. He probably would have said that it was magical. Then Denier would just ritual, ritual cast identify while he's uh, taking a short rest. And he would be reading that, looking over that book we found. All right. Uh, it is a plus one weapon. Ooh. And it is a sword of vengeance. Ah! Oh! There appears to be a spirit tied to this weapon. Can I see it? Asmo paws at the weapon, wanting it. <laughs> scream! Scream for vengeance! And no, fuck you. This is mine. You have two magic daggers. Ow! But the one always misses. So that, wait, it has like a spirit in it? It, uh, it there appears to be. Something tied to it. Some sort of consciousness, yes. Uh, all right, I'm just going to roll this real quick. Okay. Nick needs to figure Ramses out is. is going to kind of break the silence a little awkwardly, knowing that he's kind of not in a good position to make these sorts of requests. Um, are you sure it's wise to only rest for a short amount of time here? I just... I get a bad feeling from down that tunnel. And I don't know what lies ahead of us. Early. Go ahead and insight him. Usually you have usually you have good feelings about tunnels. Good enough that you go down them alone. Uh, he's being genuine as fuck. Okay. I have no problem with the with waiting. I just wanted long enough of a rest so that I could get a message to to Inquisitrix Vile Blood. Because if the gesture's out there, someone needs to know while we're in here. My worry is that this guy isn't going to make it if we stay down here for too terribly long. I could take care of him. What? I have some healing left. I could use it on him. It's missing an arm, though. Like... Yeah, but I, I, mean, I, mean, he, I mean, he's stable. He's not bleeding anymore due to the other round of healing he already had. Yeah, I'm, I'm making the point that he's very badly injured, though. That I mean, he's, cer he's certainly not an asset in a fight. But he's a but person. He, uh, I will say, due to the medical checks you guys have made, you know that he is stable. I mean, he'll require food and sustenance and definitely some bed rest when he gets out of here, but... For the oh, most part, this, this guy will live at least an evening. If that's what you feel is necessary, I suppose we can rest for a bit longer, but... I can heal him. We all have a nap. Well, you guys will have a nap, because you have to sleep. I'm <laughs> sleeping. I am... And I can watch. Ramses just sort of looks around quiet as he's been sort of rebuked from this. All right, I guess we can... I guess we're gonna rest for a little while. Can you get the message out before or after having a sleep, Denier? <laughs> we we've already taken the short rest. 
correct? Uh, yes. Yeah, I can send out the message now. All right. What's your message and to whom? It would be to Inquisitrix Vileblood. Uh, let me see. Let me think of how to word this. All right. Uh, how many characters is the message? Or can it 25. be five? 25. And they can reply with a 25 word message. In, in 25 words. In gotcha. Yeah. Jester of Bordeaux in town. Engaged in combat. Captured Palto. We rescued. Trapped in mine. Jester escaped. Be cautious. In your head, you hear a voice reply. Sorry, your message could not be received. Please try again. Ooh, this thing's neat. No. And this happened to Sending? Yes. No. How? No. The Jester of Bordeaux is Inquisitrix Vile Blood. <laughs> Fuck! Monty, what's up? I'm upset. Oh, okay. We're not paying attention. Ramsey's uh, look looks forward at you. You look concerned. What's wrong? That's not possible. The spell goes directly into the person's mind. The nearest face goes blank. Son of a bitch. What? Ram the Jester of Bordeaux is in Inquisitrix vile blood. Uh. Ramses looks down. Uh, he got a an, an idea. Seems to flash over his head. No, I. I think this may be my fault. What? That gem he stole from me. It's. It has quite a bit of untapped potential. It allowed me first and foremost to keep all of my powers in check and allowed me to use them to their fullest extent, but they also had great abilities in the means of affecting others' minds. Is it like blocking the message he's trying to send? It's possible that he might be intercepting it somehow. I don't know quite how it works, but I have a good grasp over that gem as I've studied it for the past, well, at least decade. Ugh. All the more reason to get out of here quickly. Uh, let's start moving. We don't have time to sleep, then. We slept enough. Let's move. I, 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 I must assure you... What? There is something bad down that way, and I, I'm not entirely sure what, but in your condition, I... What are you supposed to do? Wait and let the jester do do whatever the gods in hell he's planning on doing. Or we buckle down and risk going down there. I am saying that you have over a day to get out of here. You might lose a few hours, but you'll never get out if you are dead. He's, he's right. Point. We can't very well stop the jester if we're all dead. Okay. All right, be, pack it in. If I were to be terse, we barely, you barely stopped him when you were alive. That's I, a fair I know point. I'm no good. <laughs> Staring daggers at Asmo. Asmo just rolls his eyes. T-Wig hard looks at the camera. T-Wig, no, you're in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Asmo shoves you out of the picture. <laughs> Center <laughs> frame, God. <laughs> Working with an amateur all the time on this set. <laughs> Asmo was British the whole time, by the way. Great okay. actor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will watch. I'll just stand and go into my inactive state, but keep watch. All right. Uh, you guys rest up. Ow! You okay? <laughs> Asmo, I uh... I'm uh, rock, I'm fine! Let's see 
How much does a full rest heal you? Completely. Completely, yeah. Yep. Yep, just wanted to make sure. All right, you get get all your spell slots <laughs> back, and your HP gets uh, refilled. I, I assume that would be enough time to attune to the Sword of Vengeance. Yes. I do believe it would. I gotta take my spells. Asma gets his full health back. Yay! Recast Mage Armor. All right. Do, 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 do. Then Denier's been reading the book while he's been just light resting. The one that he found. Uh, the book that you found. Okay. Uh, as you are resting, you realize that this book happens to be the Jester's Journal. What? Oh, dear. I'm so glad I rolled high. Uh. All right, Denier, it will now appear in your inventory. All right. And if you would like to read it aloud for people, you uh, there's a lot of entries in here, but you opened up to the first entry and it catches your eyes. And, all right. So now he's just going to read this while he's reading. It's been three days since I made my pact with the entity tied with Grandfather's sword. I haven't had the will to move since that night, nor the constitution to sleep. Every time I close my eyes, I see them as if I'm reliving the whole damn night. Every blink feels like it lasts for hours. I know the journey ahead of me is filled with even more, but if, it, if the end results breathe life back into into her again i'll bear any burden the voice fades into his for that reason i have decided to keep this journal in order to stay true to myself and not to succumb to the madness that no doubt awaits me should i stray from my path i have little doubt that the road i travel will find me no favor with the higher gods at the end of my journey but to put it simply I see no greater torment than spending the rest of my days without my dear Fiora. When the damned Baron left me broken at his feet, he could have left it at that. But when his barbarous brutes... There's a few lines that are scribbled out madly with ink. When they killed my sister, I couldn't endure. I drank and sat for days, pleading for any god that would listen to aid me. Then came the voice. At first, I believed it to be the wine, my mind playing tricks on me, giving delusions of hope, but it continued. It sympathized. It knew my pain and offered to take it from me. I refused. This pain was all I had left of her, and nothing, not even a god, would take that from me. This seemed to amuse it. Even now, I feel its mirth circling my mind as if it's having a good chuckle. Then it offered me a way to bring her back. It claimed to me to be a weak, in a weakened state, and that the price for such a miracle would be steep, but I didn't care. This was my way forward. For the first time, I was filled with hope, but this quickly shifted as its next words entered my mind. I need you to kill every man, woman, and child in this city. The world around me felt as if it had paused. For the first time since I had lost her, my mind fell completely silent. I had never harmed anything before my whole life, nary even a simple fly. For the life of me, I know not where the words exited my lips, but it was surely I who spoke them as I accepted now what it referred to as the contract. Immediately, I felt a swell of vitality throughout my body as a cold wind blew from sources unknown. But I couldn't go through with it. I stalked the streets with Grandfather's sword at my side, but I couldn't draw it on anyone. Even the brutest mercenaries that posed as gods, who did nothing but harass and mug... I didn't have the disposition, but the jester did. I hadn't seen the jester in years, not since my days in the troop. He was bold, confident, 
agile and daring. Everyone loved him. Yes, through his cold eyes I bore witness to my path forward. It wasn't an easy sight to witness as he killed the first man, but even harder was the last child. He did save the Baron for absolutely last, though. As if giving me a treat for bearing with his performance. Admittedly, as sick as I'd felt at the time, I did derive no small amount of joy watching him beg as his flesh was stripped from his skull. The waterfalls of Bordeaux ran red this, that morning as I returned home. And I haven't yet left. So as far as I know, they still, well, they very well still may. The voice tells me I've made an excellent start, but that much more blood will be needed. Powerful blood. I'm taking this as a good thing. Perhaps quality will beat quantity, then. Maybe we can limit the bloodshed. There's nothing left for me here now, so I'll wander until an opportunity presents itself. This is concerning. Did Denier read it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's been reading it. Uh, I just, I, might... uh, can we get a picture of, of just Denier with his hands <laughs> clasped? Concern. Just, just, lo <laughs> just looking at it. Just looking at it nonplussed. Huh. Did, Scarbrand is afraid. Did, did, did Denier read this out loud just for all yeah. of us? Okay. He read oh. everything out loud. Wolfgang sort of Gendo Akariing, excuse me, Gendo Akariing right now as he's putting the pieces together. He's Sorry. trying to bring someone back to life? Son of a bitch. impossible. Son of a bitch. Asmo just looks right at, right at Wolfgang. Is it Fezziwig? Fiora. If it isn't gonna... Well, I was going to anyway, but... Fiora. Fiora. It seems mm. like... The name doesn't seem to have any significance to you, T-Wig. Okay. Seems like... Talk to us. The way the journal was written, the jester is a separate entity from... Whatever the yeah, main so, thing is. Yeah, when I was on the If it is Fezziwig, it's an alternate personality. When I was on when I was a kid, there was a uh another homeless guy. He was like that too. There was like him being friendly and then he was just like this awful person at the same time. And it would just flip like a switch sometimes. It was the craziest thing. And if he's like that, but with the power he has, good God in heaven. He's two people? Split Sometimes people's minds split in two to deal with trauma. I see. One side houses one person, and the other houses something else. T wigs if droop down. What we're thinking is right, and I think the pieces are coming together here. Our most likely candidate, the Bard Fezziwig, is the Jester of Bordeaux. Did he leave that book intentionally? It's so important. You don't, don't just know. casually lose it. I know he, he was wanting to try and get out of there. Cause... All I know is the Jester deserves to die. For what he did to my family and others. What about what's left? Are you talking about what's uh, what else is in the journal? No, like what remains if the gesture goes oh. away because it's two people. Fezziwood gave into the gesture willingly, knowing exactly what it would do. He's just as guilty. Uh. 
But if he's the jester, why did he go to Solomon to try to convince him to bring her back? Uh, you know how uh, how forthright he is with his intentions. <sighs> Asma shudders. Listen, we can sit here and talk about this, but we gotta get moving. So do we want to try to follow this track and go down the descent, or do we want to go through the way that has the water? Running water probably means an exit, or at least somewhere we can drink from. Yeah, that's true. Let's get moving. That descent's not going to work anyways. Because, Veneer, uh, hold on. Yeah. This uh, fine blade, did you figure anything else about out about it? Uh, since you've been resting with it, you really like this sword. Mm. Like it, it feels really good in your hand. Me or Wolfgang? Wolfgang. That's okay. a nice color. Um, not a massive amount. It's more dead. It's deadlier than a, a normal blade. It's got a couple interesting enchantments on it but oh and it's cursed and the fact that um well it's cursed fucking what <laughs> uh you you hear a voice in the back of your head use me huh? <laughs> give it to asthma <laughs> let no one else touch him says let no one else touch him especially yeah. not asthma Fuck! Ah, oh, fuck, that's me. Damn it. Do I Hello? have any kind of idea of the spirit? <laughs> T-Wig um, is like, I want to be right up, like, just looking at this sword. All you know is that there's definitely a deep spiritual presence tied to this blade. Uh, you Like, the, the most you were able to get uh, that I'll give you for using, uh, you know, the spell that you used for it is that whatever happened to this sword's owner, something of their soul latched onto this blade and wished nothing more than to basically seek vengeance upon the world that he died in. As you so do. basically what I'm getting is there's part of a dude's soul attached to this, and he died in such a horrific way that he wants to seek vengeance upon the world. Did he just assume my gender? <laughs> I call ah! it. Even... <laughs> I almost replied. I just realized. Um. Hey, Lanny. This is yes? a super dumb question. Because of my background, does that do anything with this? Uh, this is more of like a partial spirit attached to this blade. So, no. Okay. Like, it, it does not seem to be like a ghost is on this sword. Okay. Uh, well, part of my training was with blades, but oh, it was so long ago. I've been using my gun ever since. Just You'll do fine. <laughs> All right. Put I'll... the pointy end in the sticky part. All right, yeah, I get the gist, but I'm not, you know, I'm not you know, the Dread Pirate, whatever his name. Can't... It's okay, I'm, I'm... I get what you mean. Yeah, I'm not great with a sword, but I'll I'll try. I'll get you your revenge against the world or whatever. Why are you talking at Blade? Give Link looking at you. Oh, cursed. It, it happens. Huh. Wait, I'm not cursed now, am I? No, you're fine. No, you're fine. Insane. No, no. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, it depends. I mean, he's a nice boy. I mean, uh, do you want to insight that spirit voice? Yeah, that's gonna be fifteen. Yeah, there's something there. Something. Something's off. <laughs> oh no. Let's say Wait, I believe you for now. Good. For now. That's fine. Until I can get you looked at by my friends at my academy. That's nah, cool. Don't worry about it. I'm going to worry about it. Shut uh, I, I wouldn't, though. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just... I, I have nowhere to put it, so I'm just... I guess I'm just going to hold on to it for a while. Yeah. 
Put it around your belt. Just like. Yeah, I could probably I could probably just like slip yeah, throw it in, it in a belt, belt loop. loop. This is fine too. I just, oh my god. All right, let's get. I'm I'm, I'm pushing the damn. Yeah, let's go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dun 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 All right, I'm just gonna leave the cart empty because it's easier to move it by itself. Yeah, no worries. Okay. <laughs> See you later. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's he's just resting like a baby. Aswell well peeks around the corner when uh, the, the 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 route that goes south. I was gonna say once you get to that point, uh, go ahead and oh, roll me uh, a perception check as you roll by there. I'm also what? casting dark vision on myself. Right? Eleven. Eleven. You get an uncomfortable feeling, like a. A chill sort of runs down your spine as you walk through. Uh, maybe it was like a gust of air to the south. From the is it from the south? I'm feeling it. Or, yeah, you're uh, feeling it from that corridor that you just walked by. Uh, can I peer down the corridor real fast? Uh, as you peer down it, it almost seems to grow like you know Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo style as you stare oh, down it. Like that, like that shot from uh, from. Alfred uh, Hitchcock's Jaws. Vertigo. Oh, that too. From, from from Jaws when the he realizes the shark is right by the people. Yes. There's something down there. Asma points. There's yes. something down there. Yes, this is where I was getting that feeling. What? What do you mean? What feeling? The feeling of something summoning you? No, like. It's not as strong now that I don't have my, gem. But there's definitely, something wrong down that way. Denier, pull out your gem. I'll glance at the gem. Uh, it's pulsing, but only with the frequency that lets you know that there's definitely a couple of gems in town. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't seem like you're right on top of one. Yeah, we're not close to one right now. Uh, now the very be least, honest we, we me, know the we... Jester hasn't left the city. Should we check it out? Yeah. Aswell looks serious. Like, just... I am if back there's... up to full capacity if you do need my aid. If there's a gem hiding somewhere down here... Oh, Giblink can stay back and watch yeah. boy. Aswell just looks at everyone. Let's do it. Just... I don't know. I got a good... I got a feeling. All right. All right, Giblink will stay back here and watch Boycart. Thank you, Giblink. Uh, Asma's going to go into stealth. All right, uh, go ahead and roll stealth. Before I go. 21. Going to clasp a, clasp a hand on Giblink's shoulder. And I'm really sorry. Giblink, sorry, too. The jester took someone from me as well. Then we'll take everything from him. Damn right. All right. Uh, your stealth roll was 21. Yeah. Yeah, you pull up your hood, and you are just one with the shadows here. I was going to slink down to the corner and look around it. You notice as you step into this corridor here, uh, everybody except T-Wig make a perception. T-Wig, you notice it almost instantly as you step in. Okay. Ah. 13. Eight. And Wolfgang? Give me just a moment. I accidentally closed my character sheet. Whoopsies. How could you? Ah! Ah. All right. Uh, Denier, you don't know, so you still kind of hear like the trickling of water behind you, but as you step into this area, it it feels like your ears just got muffled. Like everything is oddly quiet. Like there's no more echoing or clattering of cave noises around you. The air is far too still. Mm. Asma holds his. Asma's going to activate hold breath. He holds his breath up to 15 minutes because of his lizard like ability. Asma's not even going to let uh, his breath interfere with the sound and just walk. Asma's going to peer around the corner. 
Hold on a sec. Something actually popped up on the screen. I can't manage to close it, so I'm going to have to say, mess with say, something here for a sec. Say yes to the hot singles in your area, Nick. I don't want to. I have, I have a They're I have in a your wife. area. They are, but I have a wife. I actually have to reload this page. Damn. Uh, oh, dang. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I opened up like a sheet, but then it won't go away. I can't even minimize it. Damn you, advertisements. All right, I guess I just won't be using that then. Do, do, do. Now waiting for the map to load in. Sorry. There we go. All right, you peer around the corner, and as you walk, or as you uh, peer around this corner, do, 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 do. you see what looks to be just a normal cave room. It is oddly quiet, but... Perception check, can I see anything? Uh, go ahead and make one if you'd like. Nine. Damn. Okay. Yeah, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary here. Yeah, so I'm just going to slink along, alongside, uh, the wall to his right in this room. All right, you slink along that wall. And as you come around that corner over there... Yeah, that's what appears again. Looks like there's uh, another forked passageway leading further into the cave. Uh, hey, Wolfgang. Mm -hmm. Remind me next time I'm in town to find a mole. Okay. Sure. Like, like the animal. Yeah, that's what I assumed. Why? So I can scan mm. it. Okay. All right. You're all sort of wandering around in this Asmo little cavern here. Moves ahead and looks to the nor up the north passage. All right, as Asmo moves ahead and looks up toward the North Passage, you... I'm going to look down the South Passage with my dark vision. All right, you look down the South Passage. That's probably about as far as you can see it in your current position. Uh, it just seems to be more cave. <sighs> Denier, what's you up to? Uh, Denier's just moving. He's keeping to the wall. He's he's getting a really weird feeling right now, so he's trying to keep keep to the wall, try to keep in cover when he can, as he's moving along behind the group. Um, I'm going to give a perception check if I can, just Do because he doesn't feel right. Just as they're walking. No, six. And yeah, nothing seems out of the ordinary here. I mean... Other than the, like, I mean, you don't even notice, like, the muffling in your ears yet. Mm -hmm. Asmo, um, Asmo heads south, and it's going to peer around the corner. It's still stealth, of course. With T-Wig? Yeah. All right, you peer around the corner as you come up to the edge. It just looks like more cavern. I'm going to motion for Denier to follow me. All right. Might as well just gonna peek around the corner. And... I'll let them let let, let uh, Wolfgang and uh, Denier do theirs. All right. You're there around the corner right now. And as you peek around, you see Asmo peering around the corner back at you. Ah, oh God. From down a ledge. Hmm. What is it? Should I release the bees? <laughs> no, it's just Twelve King, so let's just maybe... unleash the bees. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, B. I'm gonna grab my, uh, go I'm gonna grab my goggles of true sight from my, or not true sight, uh, my goggles of seeing through invisibility off of my hat. I'm gonna put them over my eyes and activate them. Weem. As you do so, uh, 
nothing appears to pop out as you do that. Hmm. Ain't invisible. Looks up at the ceiling. What the? Hmm. I'm not sure. You stay out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, what's the what eerie the? feeling in this I'm cave? I'm not sure. <laughs> I swear, she goes off at the weirdest of things. Uh, yeah, you look up at the ceiling <laughs> and nothing appears to be odd up there either. Where's Ramses? Uh, Ramses is back. He's been kind of... Uh... Yeah, you guys didn't really check on what he's been up to, but he kind of like paused for a moment. As you wandered ahead. Well, there's nothing here. Let's go back. Is there anything... Do you see anything magical? Some kind of auras or... Anything like that? I think if anything was invisible, these goggles would be able to see it. Yeah. Nothing invisible. Oh, no. Something's... Oh. Something's shaking me. A lot of things. Ramses. Uh, you can see that he was just preparing to cast something. Oh, did you find anything back there? No, nothing. I just... I have an odd feeling here. Here? This, this wall? Yes, yeah, something around here. It's just... It's emanating. Hmm. And, Hang on. Uh, Give me a moment. Uh, oh, I'm going please. to use Angelic Sight to cast... Detect magic. Which is exactly what he was about to cast. In oh. front of you, the wall that Ramsey's in right in front of begins to glow uh, with illusion magic. That's an illusion. Hmm. It's a mighty strong one at that. It feels like stone. Hmm. Oh. As you look into the illusionary wall, you see, like, runes on it. There's runes all over this. Like a magical trap, or like what? Can I roll an arcana check to see if it is booby-trapped? Uh, yeah, go for it. Alright. Arcana what? 6. You're unsure exactly what the runes are. Hmm. Perhaps we should... Stand back. Denier, why don't you go ahead and do what you did with the uh, mimics? Poke it with a mage hand? Sounds about right. All right. Um, Denier will go ahead and he'll summon up his mage hand and he'll try to give the wall a good thunk. Gonna hide behind this wall. All right. You knock on it. Uh, Nothing seems to ruminate from it. Uh, Wolfgang, as you watch, the runes seem to, like, glimmer from the uh, points that he knocks. And then they kind of, like, ripple outward in kind of, like, a little bit of a pulse. But that's about it from what you notice. Anything? Ramses looks towards you as your eyes are glowing and looking at it. Hmm. The runes seem to acknowledge that something tapped against it. Other than that, they didn't really react. Hmm. How about we one of us just touches it? Mm, I don't think that's wise. Why don't one of us throw a rock at it? I've been touching it. It's. Oh. <sighs> Ramses reaches forward and like kind of like brushes against it. The uh, runes again seem to kind of pulse. Any differently, or just the same? Just from where he puts his hand, it just seems to pulse outward. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll ritual cast um, Detect Magic so I can do an arcane check on those runes if possible. Since Wolfgang's been talking about the runes... Or is that not possible right now? Uh, sorry, what was your question? I want to cast... I want a ritual cast Detect Magic. 
so that I can I myself can do an arcane check on the runes. Okay, rich, uh, ritual takes ten minutes. Something like that. Okay, so you'll be kind of out of this conversation for a little bit. Aswell just kind of puts his head, thumbs up down to Ghibli and yells down the corridor, Gonna be a few minutes! I'm gonna throw a rock. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I grab a rock. <laughs> Get out of the way, Ramses! Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Cast rock. Badminton! And I throw it. You throw the rock, and again, as, wherever the rock impacts, the uh, runes start to pulse outward from there, like a little ripple. And no differently than a person. Yeah, no, no differently. Just whatever the point of impact was. Hmm. That's really weird when you can't do magic and you just see people interact with something that just looks normal. <laughs> weird as heck. I could, um, seems kind of like a waste, but I could summon something and send it through. Send it through? What? Yeah. Well, it might be an illusion, but it seems to be holding up pretty solidly. Well, perhaps the illusion is just the part that is masking those runes. Perhaps there is a door behind it. Hey, worst comes to worst, you just use the dynamite, but let's not gamble on that. <gasps> I pull it out. No, <laughs> yeah, put it back, put it back, put it back. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, feel around for a doorknob or something. All right, give me an investigation check. 22. Uh, as you're oh. feeling around... You do feel some seams where the uh, rocks themselves definitely don't have any. And you feel over and around and around. And then you feel what seems to be like kind of like a, not like a knob, but kind of like a little notch that would let you like grip your hand into the door a little bit. Kind of off to the right side where you're standing. Mm. All right. I'm going to grip it and try to pull it open. All right, as you grip it and try to pull, all of the runes begin to light up and shimmer brightly. And, this is a bad idea. Uh, nothing bad seems to happen from it, but it is definitely, like, holding, like, it, with some immense force. It feels like you should be able to open it, but it feels like it's just being vacuum sucked in. Oh, well, I found a way to open it, but something in, something's enchanting it to keep it shut. Hmm. Uh, Didn't that journal I... say something? Oh, wait, no, I don't even know about that. As, as well, like holds up his uh, his his counter spell ring. Can I like use my counter spell ring and just go like be gone spell? And no, I, uh, uh, counter spell is a reaction. I see. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that, God. You're welcome. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it seems like dispelling will work a little bit better here, perhaps. Damn it! But... I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? What did you? What did you say, Nick? Dispelling might work a little bit better here, but I worry that if this is here, and it is, if I'm to assume a lock of some description. Is it keeping something in, or is it keeping others out? I mean, obviously it's doing both in this situation. That journal did mention something. What? Ah, sorry. God. The, bees, wait, are are, okay? the bees are overreacting. I'm very upset because I didn't prepare to smell magic, but it's fine. And I sit down on a rock. Uh, I'm guessing you. I'm guessing magic? you just explained to Ramses what the what it mentioned about yeah. the bag full of bones. Hmm. Bag of bones. Bag of bones. Then I'm guessing whatever it is is meant to keep us out. So keeping this thing locked is of no use to us. I want to get in there even more. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Well, the only way for this to happen is if I know exactly how strong it is. He's going to he's gonna walk up and touch it just to try to get a... Uh, do an arcane check with disadvantage. Wow, two really solid rolls. 
Yay! Thank you, Dad. Hmm. Thanks, Uncle. All right. Let's see what I can do. He is going to cast Dispel Magic as a fifth level spell. Oh! Oh! Wow! Fifth level. And as he does, the facade of the uh, the illusionary facade drifts away immediately, and you see this massive stone slab door with runes just etched into it, seemingly bl- by a very crude blade. Uh, these runes are not in a language that any of you seem to speak. And they seem to be very old. The door itself, uh, well, the language seems to be very old and ancient. But the door itself looks like maybe two or, like maybe two or three generations old. Maybe more. Whew. Hmm. Which I guess is also very old. How tall is it? Uh, it is, I'd say, about ten feet tall. What is this? And you see the runes on the front just kind of like splash and pop as they begin to stop glowing. <sighs> Ramses catches his breath. That should do it. I'm afraid I'm not at my full capacity without my gem, but that should handle it and the door should yield to you now. It should be. Wolfgang, what do you sense? What is your uh, god vision show you? I'm guessing I don't see, uh, I don't see everything anymore. Yeah, it stopped glowing. It seems to be completely innate. Is there a handle? I mean, there yeah. was, there's a place to grab on the door. All right, Asmo's was just like, all right, everyone, them both, I'm all okay now, so just everyone back up. I don't, if anything happens, just... Hey, I can also fight close combat, too. That is true. Okay, fine, stand beside me. <laughs> I will stand back, I... Wolfgang. I'm afraid I am significantly better at a range. Aswell puts his hand on Wolfgang's chest. No, 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 back, back, back. <laughs> no, go forward, use me. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Uh, I, I know, I know. Yeah, I don't let do. him tell you what to do. Okay, I'm going to open the door now. I'm going to transform right. into a saber-toothed tiger again. Wait, wait, what, what, what? All right, begin the uh, 80s He-Man uh, music as T Wig transforms into Metallic Battle Cat. Oh, <laughs> and I say, hey. And Asmo, as you peel open the door, a rush of warm air comes blitzing out of it. Almost so much like this warm, dry air makes you all kind of like shudder your eyes a little bit, those of you that have eyes. And uh, it's just very uncomfortable, like uncomfortably warm considering how deep in a mountain you are, which is just a casual 50 degrees. I am going to ask the honest to God question. How moist is it? Uh, It it has a decent, uh, it it actually has like very little humidity to it. It is a very dry, heated room. And And as as you, I'm sorry. And as you peel open the door, the smell of cedar hits your nose as well, like cut cedar. And you look inside, and there is a immaculately uh, built room. Actually very similar to the uh, estate in which Barristan Kench lives. It seems to have a very similar decor. What? And as you open it, even with all the hot air, a very... Uh, I need you all to make wisdom saves real quick. Or wisdom, yeah, wisdom saves. Oh, good. 12. 23. 8. 19. Uh, T-Wig, this doesn't seem to phase you and Wolfgang. You get this feeling of immense and residual fear for a moment, but you remember your training. You take a deep breath and push it back down and keep your wits about you. But Asmo and Denir, you haven't felt this frightened since that time that Bahum roared in front of you. Your knees begin to quiver and shake. As you let go of the door, your hands feel very feeble. As if you're... I I think... um... 
I, I, I take back what I said. I don't know if we should do this. <laughs> you feel as if you're standing in front of death itself. Where the hell are we? What the hell? And this Could is I where be? we will end today's session. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! No! Curses! Watch the magic room! Ah, bushes baked beans. <laughs>